Hey everyone, this is Misty with Nerd News Social, and today I am checking out Dredge for the Nintendo Switch. Alright, we are on a boating tour. Angler wanted. Well, I do like me some fishing games. No, no. Hi, here we go. Some gameplay. Nice. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on a cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers, disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Great Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first and quite impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Now, oh, well, I am glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of the old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. And I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. Let's see. Let's move forward. Use L to reverse. Oh, that's the camera. Okay, and then that to reverse, and that's left, and that's right. Okay. Cool. That looks like a place for some lovely fish. Okay, what's in the cabin? Pursuits. Catch fish for the day. Okay, meet the mayor of Greenmore. Da -da 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 -da. Warn me about nightfall. Mayor asked me to catch as many fish as I can, then head back to the Great Model. Okay. Cool. Rotate the camera. Uh huh. Cool. So how do I fish? Is this what I need to do? Basic fishing pole, okay. Okay, tutorials, that's great. Accessibility controls. Why? Is it why? Okay. No. Well, I'm just gonna keep moving, I guess. Okay, I would like to fish. Oh, start fishing. Why? Uh. Oh, it's a timed game. Gotcha. All right, got a cod. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So why? Why to start fishing? Oh, whoops. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Uh, can I rotate? Yeah. In place. Okay. Neat. Right. Let's see what other kind of fishy fishies I could try to get. Oh, I can't fish here. Oh, okay. That's fine. In that case, I will just fish the little fishies. Just the other one. You know, varieties of spice of life, right? Let's try a different area. See if I can get other fish. fish there. Okay. I guess I'll just fish here again. Oh, that's different. Oh, arrow squid. Better get back over to the old uh, docks there. Step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Yeah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you the replacement value vessels yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. Ah, Tom Nook style. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, pay off your debt, and in turn, keep the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. The Fishmonger. Ugh. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprising they found a new one so fast. Heh, <laughs> he... He takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Alright. Uh, let's 
let's see. Uh, let's see, pick up to sell. Why? standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Alright. You must take these items. Okay, well... Place. Oh, one last thing. Our shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh, will do. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Ooh, I don't think I have cash. Oh, I have a little cash. Okay. So this would cost me 150, which I don't have. This would cost me 75. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Like, you know. to go. No. A. Okay. Okay. And then this. I'm going to discard that. Okay. Cool. My storage. Research, rest, arm block. Oh. oh, what's that? In the X. Okay. Oh, the cabin. Encyclopedia. Oh, neat. So we have. Maros. Uh -huh. Oh, there's aberrations to every fish species. Great. That'd be fun to discover. What a cute little fishing game. Let's see. I don't want to undock. Right, I guess I'll sleep. There we go. And uh, with that, let's undock. Let's see what this new fishing rod can do for me. Let's see what else I can find. Can I fish over here yet? No. Oh, I can. Great. Let's do it. Whoopsie. 
Alright. Oh, he's a chonky boy. I can carry too many of those. Let's go find somewhere else to fish. Oh, look at this little cluster. And I can fish there. So. Oh, just another one of these guys. What else can we find? Okay. Oh, I can fish here. Okay. And it's... All right. Tetris with the fishies. can I find? Hmm. Oh. One of these big chonkers again. Okay. What do we think? Oh. This is different. Let's try this. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, it's huge, though. Oh, no. Wait. I am. it there. Now, what do I want to do? I want to, oh, I want to move these things around and pick that up. Move that, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. And I'm going to take Stingray, and I'm going to move that over there, and flip it around, and it kind of fits better right there, I guess. Ah, there we go. And, hmm, oh well, well, I can't do anything else about that, I guess. What's this? Huh, stock, too low, you don't have the right equipment for this spot, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, what's that? little glowing bottle. What does that do? Okay. Um, uh oh, where's the town? The town's over there. There's the lighthouse. Oh, I better get going. It's night time. And that's... Oh. Oh no, the fog's rolling in. Gotta make it back home. Can't tell what's underneath me anymore. Oh, what's with the eyeball? Oh. There we go. Made it and docking. Okay. Fishmonger. Special came in, order came in through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. They asked for a gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you got them. You'll need to have the rod that can handle shallow waters. In order to catch those, the shipwright should be able to spit that for you. Okay. Well, I've got one. Okay. 
clap. Okay, and then uh, why does sound? No. Oh, it sold it all. Okay. Cool. Nice. Let's go to the ship, right? Can you get me? Let's see. Maybe I will uninstall that. And next to storage. Alright. Let's do that. And weighted line. Strength in line can catch larger and deeper fish. Oh, I still only have enough for that. Okay. A bore motor, trawling net. Ooh, a bulb. Cracked bulb. Well, uh, I guess. What about this stuff? Curious looking component can be used to develop new equipment, but we need some investigation first at the dock. Okay, so go to the old dock. Research engines. Research is complete. Improved outboard motor is now available. Cool. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, the last fisherman? No, oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night and come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean terrible. Constantly running around to the reef, even in broad daylight. Shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long. He shan't be missed by us. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, I should go back to fishing. Or sleep. Or something. Uh, research. Rest. Undock. What other research can I do? Rods. Uh, I don't have research parts. Okay. Alright, um, and then my storage? Uh, just the one belt. Okay. Don't worry about that. Let's go and have a nap. And, uh, maybe we'll do one more little jaunt out into the ocean. Oh, who are you? A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Well, she was pleasant. What's up, Mayor? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards the little morrow? You give this package to the dock worker there, please. Okay. So now I gotta take up room on my ship for your nonsense. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Gross. The dock worker will pay you up on delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Well, I'll... Uh... I guess I away with me. Oop, no. Undock. Oh. Well, I won't be fishing there. That's fine. 
I wonder if this is the area they mean for me to go to. Oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Delivering a package for someone. Oh. I guess I have to deliver the package first before they'll let me go fishing? That's a real bummer. Dock worker. Hmm, what delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. That'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use of it out of it than I did. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Okay. Trader. You enter a brightly lit shop packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you from over silver spectacles. Hello. Is that... Uh, no, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any tr special trinket you happen to have. Have you got anything nice on you today? I do not. Anywho, um, I'm going to go back to fishing. Because that is the important thing for me to do, is go fishing. Okay. Alright. These big guys there. Whoop. Get those guys. Perhaps some of these. Oh, these look like those might be eels. Oh, yeah. Skinny guy. Let's fish another one out. Okay. So I got the stuff that dude was looking for. cabin pursuits caught it okay messages I had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the greater morrow a rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere I struck the front of the boat it did not penetrate the hole but it jostled us around a few times fell overboard into water we did not see what they were which is of some concern but we believe all important articles were accounted for. He has been checked over for some notes from the boat remaining from the boat naming ceremony. He's paranoid, but he performed the steps. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Well then. Let's just call it a day. And let's go to the old fishmonger. Yes. All right. A couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Huh. Let's 
sell that. And sell that. Okay. The ship, right? I think I'm gonna need to reinstall the little. Ooh, how much are those? Oh man, it's gonna take me a while to get that much money built up. That's okay, I guess. Okay. All right, let's. I guess let's try to catch those little fishies before it gets late. Okay. All right, let me out. Let me go. There we go. Let's see if I can find a little group of them. No, no, this doesn't look safe. Looks like the fog's coming in, so I'm just gonna have to. Ooh, hull damage. <sighs> Boo. Oh well, no, I gotta repair my boat. Oh. Yes, please. Repair all for sixty dollars. I think I have that. Yes, please repair. There. All right, Fishmonger was going to say something interesting. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking from the surface. Interesting. Well, should be fun to continue fishing and paying off my boat and upgrading that boat and finding out what else is going on like what is that red light back there i want to thank you for sharing your time with me please hit that like button and comment to let us know how you enjoyed this video subscribe to nerd news social for more first look video game reviews unboxing videos for cool tech and gadgets and in-person coverage at events throughout the year Ring that bell and be reminded when new content goes live. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.